In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete rows by criteria in Excel. I'm using the same data that I've been dragging out for a long time. This is uh, data from the equipment rental outfit. Now there is uh, 9,000 um, 9, rows here, so we have quite a bit of data. Now, let's suppose that I am working in a department that doesn't is not concerned about the rental. So I only want to see um, the things that are non-rental, so the, all the rentals need to be deleted, and then the re-rentals and the delivery for the rentals. So we, I don't care about that. And I'm, I'm in the billing department in there. They, um, they bill 30 days after uh, the object was rented or delivered or whatever else. So I'm concerned about things that are happening from today forward. So I've written a little bit of code to filter out this data. So it's only the data that I'm going to be looking for. So I'm going to my developer tab. I'm going to macros. I'm going to criteria delete. Now I have also got a delete date, which I have linked to this one. I just have them separately because it's easier to work with. And I'm going to run this. Now I'm going to pause the video because you don't need to see this. It takes a minute to run. So now the filtering is complete and I didn't waste your time. And so now you can see that we have all the future dates and we have resale and we have um, access and we have just the things that I'm concerned about. And so let me explain the code and how it works. So the first thing I do is uh, it's called criteria delete and uh, dim uh, WS is a worksheet, R is a row, and set um, this worksheet to data, and that's my ta the tab name that I've got here. And so to make so to make sure that we get through all the data, I'm saying, well, cells uh, the row number, uh, first column. So the first one, if it's got anything in in there, it keeps going, and uh, worksheet uh, rows seventh column we select and the seventh column is is the criteria here now um, so what it does is it's uh, going if the active cell value is rental delivery rental or re-rental then it's going to go and delete delete that uh, entire row and it's going to shift up but here's a catch once, again, once this is deleted, then the active row is the row below it. So what we're going to do is go to, again, I've set little places for, for it to go to. So it's going to go to the start here and say that if it's rental, then you're going to uh, go and delete the entire row. And if it's not rental, you're going to go to ND, which is going to say R equals R plus 1. Now, um, I have done the exactly same thing on the ones for the date. I'm saying... Um, do it while this this value still uh, st the first column is not blank, and then you're going to select the fourth column, which is the which is the billing date, and if the cells values is less than today, which is the date, so to date is the same as putting today with brackets after it on the sheet, then active cell row delete, and once again we're going to go to again to go. In case of the date, the next date is that. And if it's not, then you're going to go to ND, which is going to increase the row. So let's just quick um, run through this code. So I have replaced the data with the original data. So let me just um, F8 through here so you can see it work. So we're going to go and it's going to do that. It's well, it's not blank. And now so what we're going to do is we're going to select the 7, which is in the G column, and if it equals to rental, so it does equal rental, so it should, it's going to delete this, right? And then it's going to shift it up. And now, because I've got to go again, we're going to go again, and then we're going to delete the next rental. Okay, so now... It's not, it doesn't equal rental here, so it's got gone to fuel, and so now it's going to go to the next row. And so now it's going to go to the next rental, and away we go. 
So that's how this code works. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.